Hi, I'm Tom from PSC Electrical and I'm working here today with Caitlin, one of our apprentices. We're currently in someone's loft doing a solar installation. It's a 3.3 kilowatt system where we're using two battery modules and these are rated at 2.6 kilowatts each. Um, this means that any excess power that the solar produces will be stored in the batteries and being able to use uh, in someone's house when and where needed. Um, currently one of our electricians, Dean, is on the roof and he's removing tiles so that we're able to fit our brackets on, onto the roof um, for our solar panels to securely be fixed to. This is a BMS box and it's installed on top of the battery. It allows the battery to talk to the inverter so that it can dissipate the power when and where needed. This, these connections connect straight into your inverter. You also have internet connections which allow for your tracking app and you also have an isolator in case of emergency you can switch it off. Here we have one of the ba battery modules which actually is very heavy so ensure that when you do lift them up you have two people to help. Uh, in, inside here is a lithium battery these batteries will plug directly into each other. Because it's, because it's a stackable system, it means you can add batteries sort of after a job if, if you require more capacity. On the front of the battery here, we have our two negative and positive ports. These, get, these will get plugged into the battery above or below. On here, we have our internet ports again. So these will link out the battery system the different modules just so that they're talking to each other via the app and also on here we have small dip switches and these are these have to get flicked on depending on how many batteries you have and that will just tell the system essentially how many how many are in it in here we have our inverter this this will be plugged straight into the panels on the roof and then we'll also have a cable from the fuse board downstairs to power it Inside we have, a, we have the packs for all the connections to be able to plug our inverter into our battery. We also have a CT clamp. This will clamp onto the main head downstairs and allow the app to be able to talk to the inverter. Here as well we have a dongle. These, these are used for the Wi-Fi connection. It's in its packet at the moment. Here we have our 3.6 kilowatt inverter. As mentioned before, the, the system on the roof is only 3.3 kilowatts, meaning that this inverter fits the size of the system. On the bottom of our inverter, we have our AC plug, which plugs straight into the mains to, supply, to feed the inverter with a supply. We have a backup system, which isn't being used on this install today. We also have ethernet ports. One will be for our dongle, and one will be for our direct uh, internet connection. We also have our plugs that go straight into the battery. And for here, we have our meter CT, as mentioned before, where the CT clamp will be plugged into. Here we have our DC isolator. This will isolate the cables coming from the roof so that you're able to work on the inverter in terms of maintenance or if there was ever an issue. Here we have our generation meter. This will actually be installed downstairs where the mains comes in and this will give the customer essentially a reading of how much energy has been produced over time since it's installed. Here we have our AC isolator and this will isolate our supply coming from downstairs that will feed our inverter. So currently what we have here at the moment is an old dual RCD fuse board. 
we can't use the type a rcds for doing the solar panels so what we've done is we've had to mount the new fuse board with type a rcbos again this is a better job because we prefer to use rcbos rather than rcds in the event of anything tripping obviously the rcd controls all the circuits across here which causes quite a nuisance for any customers so with recommending a new fuse board she was more than happy to change it now when it comes to this fuse board we weren't happy with the location because when the cables came down this wall they were coming across the heating pipes which we weren't too happy with so we relocated the fuse board over to this side redressed some trunking in because again the old trunking was in pretty bad condition which allowed us to sort of maintain any mechanical damage. Hello, we're reaching the end of our project now and here's our finished install in the loft. We have our inverter, which has a capability of 3.6 kilowatts. Our roof capacity is 3.3 kilowatts, so there's, there's plenty of room there. We have our finished battery, um, which is obviously all plugged into our inverter. And we also have a Wi-Fi enabled dongle, which allows you to um, access an app to track all of your energy consumption and use. So here's our finished battery. Um, um, on the top we have a BMS system which is basically the brains, it connects uh, our battery into our inverter. Underneath we have two 2.6 kilowatt battery modules, these are lithium and they're wired, in, wired together to uh, give an overall of 5.2 kilowatts battery capacity so that when the solar is not being used in the house it can charge the two batteries. So the app which we use for this type of system is called FoxCloud and it can be uh, downloaded from the App Store. Uh, your, your system will be given a login and a password, which you just type in. On your first page, you'll find um, your savings for daily and overall, and you'll also find your total yield. When you click on your personal um, system, it will show you a more detailed description of the times, days that your power is being used and what you're saving. If you go into your device, you have real-time data which shows you what your solar is producing, what the grid's pulling and what your house is requiring. And you're also able to track your battery which shows you the percentage of how much it's charged and whether it's charging or not.